Okay, we are going to draw an ellipse and calculate its eccentricity. So in order to do that, you need thumbtacks, a piece of string, your reference table, and a calculator. So we're going to draw an ellipse with the distance between the foci being four centimeters. Remember that the foci are the two center points of the ellipse and where you're going to put your thumbtacks. So you take the reference table, putting it as close to the center of the paper as you can, and you put your thumbtacks four centimeters apart. So I'm going to put one thumbtack into the cardboard at zero centimeters and one thumbtack into the cardboard at four centimeters. And push them down as far as you can. And then you can move the reference table out of the way. Then you take your piece of string and place it over the thumbtacks. After that, you take your pen or pencil or marker, place it in the loop of the string, and pull the string out as far as you can. And then draw your lips. And now you have an ellipse. Once you have the ellipse drawn, you can take out the thumbtacks and I'm going to label this one F1 for fo foci 1 or focus 1 and F2 for foci 2 or focus 2. In order to calculate the eccentricity of this ellipse, I have to have the length of the major axis. The major axis is a line that goes through the ellipse through both foci points. So I'm going to take a straight edge, in this case my reference table, line it up with both of the foci, and draw a line across my ellipse through the foci. This is the major axis. If I want to calculate the eccentricity of this ellipse, I need to know the distance between the foci over the length of the major axis. This equation is right here, but is also available on the front of the reference table. I know that the distance between the foci was four centimeters, because that's what I started with, but just to be sure, I'll check. So four centimeters is my distance between the foci. Here's one foci, and here's the other. So the eccentricity of this ellipse is four centimeters over the length of the major axis. So again, I take the reference table and measure the major axis to the nearest tenth. So it comes to about here which looks to be about 16.7 centimeters. So in my denominator, I'm going to put 16.7 centimeters. Then you take your calculator and you do four divided by 16.7. The answer is 0.2395. If I round that to the nearest tenth, the eccentricity of this ellipse is 0 0.2. You don't have to put any units for eccentricity. If this were a perfect circle, the eccentricity would be 0. If it were a straight line, the eccentricity would be 1. This ellipse has an eccentricity of 0 0.2.